pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. He's able to run free after the catch. Quincy Anu for the intended receiver. And now it's second down. It's second down and 10. To throw again. Rodgers. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. Brings up third. Rodgers to throw once more. Dancing oh to his God, left. Get He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. Oh and he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Look out, Rodgers has the football. And the Falcons say they have it, they do. Well, partner, I think it's safe to say they could mark this down as extremely frustrating. Here we are in the fourth quarter, and that last play, that turnover, I think it epitomizes what happened to them all day on offense. So symbolic, and that's why they're still being shut out. A beautiful spin, and run to run. The 20, 10, 8, 8. And they're going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just handed their totals. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases. Offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance, coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one? You're exactly right. Clean sweep. And boy, they're going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film you just flush and never go back and review. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. At their own 25 yard line. The Atlanta defense shifting into high gear as they head back out there now. They recovered the fumble last time. Three turnovers for them in this game. They've been that, that were opportunistic. Now he's stripped. He lost the football. And the Falcons grab it. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. As I say, this game hasn't exactly been one for the books. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here. And now this happens. Another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this is a banner down. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. Down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. They'll look to throw. And it's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Kevin King, the former Washington Husky, there defensively. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because they're... And give them another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. I mean, he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. The Packers ready to take over offensively. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Diedrich Sinat with a sack. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Throwing on second and long. Rodgers. Jake Butt, the tight end, his intended receiver. But now it's third down. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. And a throw there going to be incomplete. 
Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. It's a touchdown saving tackle to bring him down as he goes 32 yards on the return. And the Falcons are set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. This is the uh, risky pass, but I'm going to do it just for you. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He's going to oh. let this go. Back of the end zone. Oh, oh, oh. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. They seemingly just continue to score at will, and <laughs> as great as it's been for the offense, you got to feel for that defense down there. And I love that you use the word will, because both teams came into the game with the will to win, but one team has obviously imposed its will on the other and broken them, because what we're seeing right now, wow, that's a defense that's in tatters after what they faced in this ballgame. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Taken in the end zone. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25. A touchback. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And they knew this would be tough on the road, divisional round, and that has certainly been the case with the deficit they face in this fourth quarter. And the first play in the drive there is incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. It's a lot of credit to the defensive game plan, and especially the execution. And well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? Oh, Open man, and that's his tight end, that Jake Bunn. 14 yards, yards, good for a Packer first down. One well, of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. But the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the seat. And is going to go down. He sacked. In there to get him again. That is sack number six. One off the NFL record of seven. After the sack on first down, Rodgers. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. And 15. On third and long, it's Rodgers. The hitter here, it's complete. Rodgers pass. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with ten seconds left. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. We'll beat him after the They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking deep for him. And this is caught inside the front. Oh. And he will get into the end zone. It's another oh. touchdown. This thing is ugly. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. This taken in about four yards deep. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25. A touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I would. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by A.J. Terrell.
The Falcons are moving on. Congratulations to them. Thank